In this lesson, we're going to learn how to identify the different types of chemical reactions when we're, see when we're looking at chemical equations. So, we have to start by understanding the definition of each type of chemical reaction. First is a synthesis reaction. This is when two or more elements or compounds combine to make a more complex substance. So the general format that we follow is A plus B yields AB where A is always going to be a red shape, B will always be blue, um, and then when we see in a few minutes, we'll be looking at C will be green and D will be yellow. So when things are uh, put together like this, that indicates that they are chemically bonded together. When they're separate like this, that indicates that it's a single element. The next type is decomposition. This is where you have a compound that breaks down into a simpler substance. So same as synthesis, but in reverse. We start out with a full substance and that break, or a compound, and that breaks down into two separate things. Remembering that a chemical equation indicates that a chemical reaction has occurred or chemical change has taken place. And so the starting substances will have different properties from the resulting substances. The next one you need to do is single replacement. This occurs when one element replaces another one in a compound. So it's kind of helpful to see with the colors here. We've got a compound formed of an A and a B, and then separate from that, we're going to show a chemical reaction with a new element, C. And in this case, B and C have switched places. They've replaced each other. And finally, double replacement occurs when atoms in two different compounds trade places. So we have A and B plus C and D yields A and C plus B and D. In this case, it's easy to see that our blue element in one compound has been replaced by the green element in the other compound. So let's take a look at some example chemical reactions. Eventually we're going to label each of these as synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, or double replacement. So if we start here uh, with phosphorus plus oxygen yielding P4O10, uh, what we see here is that we have two single elements being combined into one. So that shows a synthesis reaction. And we can use our colors from before to label these. So if we remember A was red, whereas B was blue. Okay. HGO yields HG plus O2. Here we have a compound that's made of a red and a blue. And those are separated into their own separate spots. So this becomes a decomposition reaction. In our next example, we start with we have three different elements involved. And you can see one element is replacing another element in a compound. So this is a single replacement. Here, we see Mg plus O yields MgO. That's another synthesis reaction.
In our next, we have Al, or aluminum, plus oxygen, uh, resulting from aluminum oxide. So we have a decomposition reaction. And we have H3, sorry, H2, hydrogen plus nitrogen yielding NH3 or ammonia. So this is also a synthesis reaction. If we continue on, Na plus Br is showing two single compounds being combined into one, so we have synthesis. CuCl, or copper chloride, I'm not sure what transition metal number it would need, um, plus H2S, or hydrogen sulfide, yielding CUS and HCl. So you can see the copper uh, becomes joined with the sulfur, and the hydrogen and the chloride become joined, so this is a double replacement. In our next uh, example of an equation, we have hydrogen, or sorry, mercury and oxygen in a compound plus chlorine in a comp, or in a, as a single element, becoming mercury chloride plus oxygen. So this is a single replacement. Carbon plus hydrogen yielding CH4 is synthesis. We start with two separate elements and they become one combined. KClO3, potassium chlorate, becomes KCl or potassium chloride plus oxygen. This shows decomposition. We've got the oxygen kind of breaking away from the potassium chloride. Sulfur plus fluorine, yielding sulfur fluoride, shows synthesis. And finally, barium chloride plus sodium sulfate yields sodium chloride plus barium sulfate. This is double replacement. So if you look at the starting and ending uh, components, if you look at the products and the reactants, you should be able to figure out, using a few simple uh, pictures, what kind of reaction you're seeing.